Today on the channel, we talk about the legend, we talk about the real, we talk about the top five Iron Sheik figures of all time. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5 List. Of course, a Thursday tradition here on the channel where I take my top 5 and occasionally a top 10 of something, and we break it down and talk about it every single Thursday here on the channel. And today, I try not to break your back and make you humble like a young Iron Sheik, because that's what we're doing. We're talking about my top 5 Iron Sheik figures of all time. Iron Sheik, no stranger to action figures. He's been a part of them basically since the uh, LJN days, and we'll talk about a little bit of all of them here in this very video. But of course, I'm going to ask you guys, like usual, make sure you put your list in the comments down below. This is my list. I want to see what your list is and put them in order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part. But without further ado, let's dive in. Let's talk all things Iron Sheik. <sighs> All right, we kick off the top five Iron Sheik figures of all time, as voted by me, of course. And number five, we go to Mattel. We go to the early years of Mattel, the early stages of Mattel. And this one was a Toys R Us exclusive, part of a two-pack with Nikolai Volkov. And I always liked what Mattel did here. Of course, Mattel got the license from Jax, and we knew the Jax Classic Superstars tag teams were a Toys R Us exclusive. Well, Mattel carried that on with tag team exclusive two packs in the Mattel Legends line. And that's where we got this Iron Sheik from, of course, with his partner and good friend, Nikolai Volkov. And this Iron Sheik is a good one. Of course, the elite style bodies, we know them, we love them by now. But we got a lot of bells and whistles with this one. We got a little bells and whistles with Jax. But Mattel really took it to that proverbial next level as we got the nice iconic headdress, of course, but a beautiful soft goods robe, a very nice looking version of the Iron Sheik right here. Got his patented blue trunks going on. Got the big old mustache there as well. Just a really good Iron Sheik that you can easily set your watch to. You know immediately when you see this Iron Sheik figure, you know, oh, there's the Iron Sheik. And even casual wrestling fans are going to know who this is. And that's a big part of this recognition of this uh, Mattel Legends Iron Sheik. And, of course, we've had more Mattel ones since then. We might even talk about one or two in this very video. But this one always did capture my heart uh, at the early infancies of the Mattel line. And that's why this one comes in at number five. We continue on with our Iron Sheik top five list. And once again, we return to Mattel and we go to the Legends line once again. And this time we go to Legends Series 2 for a little Iron Sheik action. And this one's very similar to the last one, but very different at the same time. Instead of a white robe, we get a beautiful black robe. Instead of a white headdress, we get a beautiful red headdress. And then what I really like about this one, we do get the long tights on the Iron Sheik. He didn't wear these a whole lot, but for whatever reason, a lot of us do think of him wearing this more than he actually did. But very, very iconic, very cool. Love it. Of course, all the Iron Sheik figures. You're not gonna be on a top five Iron Sheik list unless you got the Iron Sheik uh, patented boots there with a nice curl at the front. Some call them the Xavier Woods boots, but not me. They're the Iron Sheik or even the original Sheik's boots. But man, oh man, a very, very good one once again of the Iron Sheik. And like I said, the Iron Sheik, a guy that has had a lot of figures over the years. So narrowing down a top five was pretty tough for me. But I guess you would be surprised. A lot of people think he'd have 20-some figures. He's got maybe 10 or 11 figures. And that's kind of a, a little less than you would imagine. I do eventually think he will be in the WWE Ultimate Coliseum collection i could see them pair that ljn up with uh, hulk hogan very easily the first version of hulk hogan or possibly with nikolai volkov so i guess we'll wait to see what they do from the mattel team there but series two legend mattel elite coming in at number four in my top five Iron Sheik figures of all time. We've arrived at the number three spot in our top five Iron Sheik figures of all time. As usual, make sure you get your list together. Make sure you put it in the comments down below. But today, at number three, we're hitting up Jack's Classic Superstars. But which one? Well, we're going to Jack's Classic Superstars Series 5. And this is one of those ones that's very nostalgic. I would say, uh, if you lined them all up, you'd probably say the Jack's Classic Superstars 3-pack that came with Nikolai Volkov and King Kong Bundy is probably the greatest Jax Iron Sheik figure of all time. Not for me, just because of Series 5 here, where it doesn't have the robe, it still has the headdress, of course. 
This one is iconic for nostalgic purposes. This one is what you saw out at Venture. You saw it at Walmart. You saw it at Kmart. You saw it at Toys R Us. You saw it at KB. You saw it everywhere. Walgreens, another place you saw classic Superstars figures. There was a lot of times to see this Sheik, and I'd come across it all the time. It was like visiting a, a, my old friend Rio, basically, back in the day, is what this Sheik was. So he kind of joked. It was a bit of a peg warmer. It was there for a lot of sets. You know, we were in Series 15 of Classic Superstars, and you could still go to your local Local Walgreens, and you can still see old Sheiky Baby giving you a little wink and uh, uh, playing with his little mustache right there. So this one is just a little bit iconic in a Rio type way, I guess is what we'll say with here. And that's why he arrived on this list and not that three pack one. But this one, I'm putting in number three. There's no change in my mind. It's the Rio version of the Iron Sheik, and he's coming in at number three. Getting closer and closer to the end, we're at the number two spot in our Iron Sheik Top 5 Countdown. And number two, I believe, if I remember off the top of my head right now, as far as Mattel Elites, this is our most recent Iron Sheik figure. What is it? Well, we're going to the Elite line, but we're going to the GameStop exclusive Retro Fest line for the Iron Sheik. And this one, there is a lot to like about this one. Of course, soft goods, always a winner. Headdress, always a winner. But to finally, in figure form, get these Persian clubs... Man, that's a chef's kiss right there. The Steve Harvey likeness is just right there as well. Whenever I see this Iron Sheik, I think of Steve Harvey. Great game show, judge, host. He's done it all, Steve Harvey. Uh, re truly a renaissance man in entertainment. But this one does look a little bit like Steve Harvey. But I love that it's an updated Sheiky baby face. Looking really, really good. Absolutely do love this Iron Sheik. I love the packaging for the Retro Fest line. Perfect for GameStop. Just a whole lot to like about this figure. No doubt in my mind this is going to be in my top five list. Comes in at number two. He does get the trunks. And doesn't the Iron Sheik have one of the inter most interesting bodies of a wrestler ever? Uh, you know, a lot of time we think of him in trunks or his pants. But he always had those really skinny legs. And just kind of that big old gut going. Like a beer keg there. But it was like solid muscle and stuff. And he kind of had skinny arms. Just an interesting body physique on the old Iron Sheik. But it did well for him. Uh, made him through a lot of stuff. And he's got through a lot of stuff over the years with all of his drugs drug addictions and stuff. Uh, of course, this video top five coming off the heels of, I don't know, a couple weeks before I filmed this, there was an A&E A &E documentary on the Iron Sheik that was really good. So I do recommend to check that one out if you did not miss that. If you want to know more about the Iron Sheik, I actually met the Iron Sheik one time during the height of his Howard Stern days as he was on Howard Stern, uh, threatening to humble everyone, really threatening to humble every single one of the people uh, near and far is what he was doing there. A little bit of a resurgence for the Iron Sheik, but uh, this one, a definitely a cool Iron Sheik. There's no doubt in my mind, this has to be on everybody's top five list, doesn't it? Just an absolute favorite figure of mine, and I think a lot of you guys and gals out there as well. So the Retro Fest Iron Sheik, coming in number two on my top five list. That leaves there can only be one. Like Highlander, there can only be one. And who will be the number one Iron Sheik figure? Well, stay tuned. Here we are at the number one spot, my number one Iron Sheik figure of all time. Do you got your list together? Put it in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this very YouTube channel as every single Thursday, we're doing a countdown video of some sort. And this week, Iron Sheik got the lucky draw. But it's time to dive in, talk about the number one Iron Sheik figure. And there was no doubt in my mind when I put this list together, started doing it, he was at number one. He stayed at number one. Some people will say this is one of the most iconic figures of all time. It would be hard to argue that assessment. What are we talking about? We're going to the LJN Iron Sheik. Now, he does got the long tights here. That's what we saw in that Mattel one earlier. I do love that attention to detail. A little blast from the past. And I think if we get an ultimate Iron Sheik, we'll see it in this little look here. But of course, when I say one of the most iconic wrestling figures of all time, this has got to be it. So many kids in the 80s had this Iron Sheik figure. This is probably one of the greatest selling wrestling figures of all time as well. Some of those early LJNs, there's always stories about uh, the checks that wrestlers got based on the sales of these action figures. So there's no doubt in my mind, uh, Iron Sheik made a lot of money off this figure and a lot of kids had this action figure. A lot of kids that never had this know what this action figure is. And I think most people when they close their eyes and they think of an Iron Sheik action figure, this is the first one that pops up for them. It is very iconic. Spent a lot of years of my life playing with this toy back in the day. Love the mustache going on. And as recently, I just watched this movie. You might have heard of it. It's called Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. It came out back in the day, but I just saw it not too long ago. And he kind of reminds me of that mechanic from that movie. Maybe uh, that mechanic based his life on the Iron Sheik. And I believe that mechanic was a professional wrestler at one time as well from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So the more you know, kids, the more you know. Uh, 
Uh, but very good, Iron Sheik here, uh, hitting the old double bicep pose. Looking good right there, flexing on both sides. Got, of course, the iconic shoes on him, the iconic mustache. Can't do much better for Iron Sheik figure than this one here. Yes, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, all the articulation of the world, but talk about nostalgia, talk about popularity, talk about resonating with a wide audience. That's what this Iron Sheik does for me and probably a lot of you guys and gals out there as well. And that's why he's number one in my top five Iron Sheik figures of all time. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Who's your number one? I got to think a majority are going to have this at number one, but I guess we will find out. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget about checking out the old Patreon, your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. SirPaul64 on Twitter is where you're going to find me. You're going to find me on Instagram at the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Iron Sheik, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.